This world is full of magic. Wondrous creatures, dragons, and wizards all share it together. The Guild of Nova Nimbus rises at the center of it all, but its arcane power fractured with the disappearance of Arxaral. With more questions than answers, the tides of magic have begun to shift, changing the world as we know it. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origins. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Mavoda here, and welcome back to another episode of Fairy Tale Origins. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well today. We have a lot to get into, so we might as well just get right into it all. Um, what have I been doing since last time? Not too much, actually. I did make that last episode, like, yesterday. So, haven't really done much since then. So, we're back. We're gonna continue here with some of the evil craft stuff. Which, of course, still is our little secret. I don't... Um, yeah, so we're doing some more evil crafts. So the next thing I wanted to do in this, um, is, let me see. I want to go get one of those books. And I think, uh, not books, I'm sorry. I want to get one of the, the trees going that comes with this mod. But I think to do that, I have to go get, like, a dead bush from out in the desert. And to actually be able to pick up that dead bush and have it not be sticks, I am going to need a pair of shears. So let me grab uh, some iron. I don't think I've ever made a pair of shears before. Um, no, no I haven't. That was the first one. Cool. So I'm going to grab some iron. Oh wait, before we head out, let me show you guys. Some of you suggested I might not want to be doing all this like blood evil craft stuff out in... Out in the open, be more likely for people to see me. So I have started a little room over here where we are going to be doing some of the more sinister things. I do need to find a way to kind of hide this room. We don't really have like carpenter's doors or hidden rooms or any of the mods that I would normally do or use to put a secret door here. So we might even have to go like old school Minecraft with like a hidden piston door or something like that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, I'll look around in the mod and see if there's mods and see if there's anything we can do. Uh, so let me. I'm probably gonna need to do this to get. I just gotta turn this back on real quick, just to have. Um, let's just actually zoom out a bit. Where's the closest desert? That's uh, probably up there. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Let's head over there real quick, and boop. Cool, that's all we needed. Let's head back. Does that have EMC? Yes, it does. All right, we're gonna head back. Actually, I can just do this right here. One of you guys suggested I make one of these, and I did. I took your suggestion. Dead bush, beautiful. Okay, so let's head back um, and see if we can get these trees. Okay, so we already put some blood in here. So I think, what do I have to do? Just that? Oh yeah, there we go. It's working. That should give us the tree we need, and luckily with the EMC table, I'll uh, be able to grow this thing, I think, I think right away. Undead sapling. Cool. Um, I don't know how many of those we're going to need. We'll make like a couple of more. How much blood did that use? 800 for the one sapling? Okay. Oh yeah, it probably tells me that in the recipe book. Okay, let's plant this guy. We'll grow it real quick and try to get some of this wood because we need it to craft the next thing we're going to craft. I guess let's go right here. Yeah, that should be pretty easy. Bone meal. Do I have bone meal? Yes, I do. And hey, look at that. That grew quick. And it grew tall. Uh, let's do... I think that's the only one I have made in my table. Grab some of you. That's some cool looking wood. Now I think I'm going to need this to craft a certain thing, which uh, basically I guess I'll, I'll just say what it is. We're going to make a broom today. We are going to have a mode of flying, which is going to be huge. It's going to help us out greatly. Oh man, this tree just like drips blood. We should probably get rid of that before anybody sees it. Uh, so let's, where's my base? This way. Will that disappear? I think it will. 
yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tree. It'll behave like a tree. Uh, so I can make some sticks from this, right? Oh no! Oh no! I have to do it a different way. Hold on. Uh, let's look at the book here. Okay, so looking at this, it seems there's three basic parts to a broom. There is the rod, the brush, and the cap. And all of these can be made out of many different materials that give you all sorts of modifiers and things. It reminds me a lot of Tinkers, actually. Uh, so we're, I guess, I mean, I guess eventually we'll do some, we'll mess around with some other stuff and find, like, the best broom to make. But... Right now, we'll just kind of make our first broom and sort of go from there. Um, okay, so let's figure out our things here. Um, that gives me more maneuverability, but what lessens my speed? Uh, it's hard to tell. Um, I guess we'll try the blaze. The, the blaze. Um, the blaze rod. <laughs> And um, then for the brush, uh, we will go with... Oops, too far. I guess for the brush, we'll go with a feather brush for now, which will give us more levitation. Don't really know what that's going to do, but we will find out. Uh, this will give us that. This will give us more max modifiers plus maneuverability. Okay, we'll go with a, a diamond cap, I think think uh so i think for each of these first we meet, need to make like a bear rod a bear cap and a bear brush i believe and to make each one of those we have them right here so we just need a dark gem and some crushed dark gems for the cap some of these dark sticks we just got and the crushed dark gems for that and this will give us the rod do i have enough dust for this stuff i think we have just enough all right um let me uh make those real quick and i'll be right back okay so i think we have all the things now okay so the brush i was gonna make a feather one right is that how you do it that looks like how you do it um and then the rod we were gonna do blaze rods like so cool and then the cap we were gonna do diamonds sweet now, how do we do this? Do we put it together like so? That looks like how we do it. Sweet. Oh, we gotta fill this thing with blood, do we? Can I put it in the infuser? Will that work? Is this how you, uh, how you do? That is how you do. Okay. Uh, can I do that? I can do that. Cool, I can just put that right in there. Okay, so this thing needs blood to run. I can fly! Okay, cool. Um, we have, we can still add five modifiers to this thing. I don't know how to do that necessarily. Let's take a look. Maybe the book will tell us. Okay, here we go. Um, so glowstone will give us maneuverability. Coal will give us acceleration. And that will give, okay, uh, redstone will give us speed. Uh, we can also... We can get like a flame effect. That's kind of cool. Or we can have particles. That's also cool. And like collision damage. So I guess we could hurt somebody if we if we hit them. Okay. Um. Oh, and then efficiency. I guess that's how much blood it uses up. Oh, does that mean there's a place for like maybe sturdiness? That'll add more. I am not sure. Um. All right. Maybe, I think for now, let's add some speed, acceleration, and maneuverability. We'll go with that. Do we do this just in the crafting table, I'm guessing? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I don't think I've made a block of redstone yet. Let's do that real quick. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. And what was the last one? Coal block, right? Yeah, coal block, I believe, gave us the acceleration. Did I make a coal block? I don't know if I've made one of those yet either, so let's do that. Can use all this stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, so, if what happens if I just do this? Oh, that'll do it, and that'll use up one of the modifiers. Okay, cool, sweet. Use it just in the uh, in the table here. All right, 
and that'll give us more speed. And then we'll add, uh, where is it, the glowstone? Excellent. Cool. Um, so we don't have too much blood right now, but let's give this thing a try and uh, fly for the first time. Ooh. Oh man, this thing is not too bad. I gotta say, we're going pretty fast here. And, um, oh yeah, we can see down in the corner how much blood we have left in this thing. Okay, this is awesome. I am really digging this new form of transportation. Who needs stairs to get up to my base when we can just fly on a broom? And then what, we can just go in here? Oh, that's awesome. Goes right back in your hand. Sweet. Okay, um, so that is all we're going to do today with Evil Craft, I believe. The other thing I mentioned last episode that I wanted to get into, because it's going to supply us with a lot more dark gems and materials and stuff, is chicken magic. We need to get into some chicken breeding, because there's a lot of stuff we can get with some pretty wacky chickens. So as we look at this, you can tell I was starting to look stuff up already. Um, a lot of the stuff actually starts with just uh, different dyed chickens, different colors. Um, there's a couple that we are going to need to like go to the nether for, for example, a soul sand chicken. And I think I saw, where is it? Nether quartz chicken. You see there, it can't be bred. You have to go to the nether to grab it. And there's a couple other really important ones like uh, flint chicken. We can't get that. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to go find it. And a log chicken, I think that's another one. Um, so I guess to do that, do I, I think I made some of these. Do I have any in my crafting table? I do not. Maybe I can't use it in my crafting table. I don't know. Um, I'm going to make a couple golden lassos. Uh, there we go. Oh, those aren't that bad at all. Okay, that's why. Because I didn't, uh, it doesn't have any MC value. So that's why I didn't have them. Uh, so let's uh, craft up a couple of those. For, uh, and we're going to go searching in a second for a couple of chickens. But I think first thing I'm going to do before we go out and do that is I need to make a room for these guys downstairs. i uh, not sure where I'm going to do it yet, but we'll figure it out. Am I doing this incorrectly? I feel like I'm always doing this incorrectly. Because I am always doing it incorrectly. Oh man, every time there's something like that where it's like a diamond shape and then other item in the corners, I mess it up every time. Um, four will be enough. That's all we need. And uh, apparently that's all we have the XP for right now. Cool. Um, we'll just empty this stuff out. So let me just figure out here where I want to set this up. I mean, we have a garden going there. We have that going that way. Um, maybe we'll might wind up moving this room and making like our chicken room in here. And then hiding the blood magic room like in another room. Um, not blood magic, uh, evil craft stuff in, like, another room. Um, I'll see. Uh, let me do a little building and clearing out here, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I actually dug out a little bit of a room back here. We're gonna expand it more, uh, but just for time's sake right now, we're not gonna do that. I'll probably do that off camera. Uh, let's take a look here what we have to do. So this is from the chickens mod. What if I just add a little at sign here? It does not give me the other things that I need, like the... That will automatically collect items. Interesting. Let me see. Chickens. Because when I remember messing with this before, there was another little... I forget what the name of it was. There was a, an item where you could put these guys. Okay. Um... So we're probably just going to have to keep them in, like, a confined space and keep them together to kind of make them want to breed, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Uh, chickens. Let's get some of the main, like, colors and stuff going. Let's see what colors we can get. Let us see here. Okay, so we at least have a few colors to start with here. Um, let's just start making some chicken eggs. Uh, throw it to have a chance to spawn a chicken. Okay. Uh, so this is actually going to be much di more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Because the last time I did do this, they had, um, like, nests you could put the chicken eggs in. That would help you grow them. But apparently we can't do that anymore. I know I can combine some of the other dye and stuff to, uh, 
to try to start to uh, get some other colors. Okay, so we really have to like go in with this, huh? So we gotta go. Uh, hold on, yellow, and then egg. So let's make 16 of them. Maybe we'll hatch one, right? There we go. We got one. Beautiful. I don't have any blocks. Oh, no. Uh, let's just... What's a good block for now? I don't want chickens just going all around the base. We'll just do this for now. I'll make a door in a second. Probably need more than one of those. Um, oh, man. We are failing at Minecraft, everybody. All right, gray and blue wool. Beautiful. Yeah, you were just trying to... You were just going to try to go out, weren't you? Not today, buddy. Um, okay. Let's, we might as well use the rest of these. Beautiful. Now, if I put, say, like... These yellow guys with, say, a red chicken. That didn't hatch. Let's make some more red chicken. Will they make an orange chicken? That is a question. As I said, this is a little bit different than the last time I'd done it, so... I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. Let's just make some, uh, there we go. Adorable. Now what happens if I give you this? Will you grow up? Will you grow up if I do this? Um, I don't think they will. Yeah, I've given them like half a stack. All right, um, I think this is gonna be a little more grindy than I thought it was gonna be, guys. So I am going to spend some time breeding some chickens here. So I think that is gonna be it for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.